What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna use the extension True Bend by TomTom Tom in order to create kind of a sliced organic looking wall that curves around a 90 degree angle. So this is one way to achieve this effect. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below if you have other ways of achieving this. I know there's a lot of creative people out there and I would love to hear your ways for, of creating things like this as well. So so let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's a few different ways you could do this. I'm gonna keep this fairly simple just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, you could do things like using the extension curve aloft if you had more of a, uh, if you had more of an irregular face. We're gonna go ahead and model this in with just kind of a regular face. So I'm just gonna use the rectangle tool. So I'm gonna tap the R key. I'm gonna tap the right arrow key to lock it to the red axis. And we're just gonna draw a plane just like this. And then I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna draw just for the sake of this example, kind of a curving, face like this one. Um, so just something very simple for right now. Um, you can definitely come in here and get more complex with this, but for what I'm trying to do in this video, specifically focusing on true bend, this should be good enough. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push pull this out and give it a little thickness. So in this case, I'm going to give it two inches of thickness. Then I'm going to take the whole thing, right click on it, and I'm going to make it a group. And so once I've made it a group, I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode to create a number of different copies of this. So you can see how I'm selecting this edge. And then or you can see how I'm selecting this object by clicking on it, tapping the M key, and then clicking on this corner. When I click on this corner, I'm gonna tap the control key to go into copy mode. And I'm gonna type in a distance of four inches. So that gives me a two inch object and a two inch space. And you'll notice I haven't clicked on anything else. Well, now I can type in times. So the little star key, and then we'll say for this situation, we'll say times 20 is not gonna be good enough. We'll do times 50. So that ought to work for right now. So I'm assuming this is gonna curve around a corner. Alternatively, and let me know if you guys are interested in a video about this, you could also draw profiles in here and use an extension like Curveloft to create a face. And then you could use something like uh, solid tools or something like that to select or um, subtract out these gaps. Let me know if you're interested in a video about something like that. Um, it's a little bit different than what we're doing here. But for what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go ahead and we want this to bend around like a 90 degree angle. So there's a few different ways to do this, a few different extensions. I like using True Bend from TomTom because Tom I think it mostly maintains the thickness of these faces on this front side. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want, but this is what I'm figuring these are going, these are the ones that I'm figuring are going to be curved. So I'm just gonna select them right click and I'm gonna make them a group. Well, now that they're in a group, we can activate True Bend, which I will link to in the notes down below. You can see how it gives me this little red, um, this little red option right here in order to click and drag this. You can see I can click and drag this to bend this object. Well, in this case, I don't want to click and drag. I wanna type in a value of 90 because that's me telling it that I want it to bend along 90 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the enter key. So what that does is that bends this object 90 degrees. Well now, I can take this and I can take this point and line it up right here. And then I can activate the rotate tool by tapping the Q key. And I'm just gonna click on this corner. I'm gonna click on this edge and then I'm just gonna rotate this so that these align. Then I'm just gonna move this over two inches along the red axis. So you can see how what that does is that now lines this up and you can see how this curves along 90 degrees right here. So what I like about the way True Bend does this is it doesn't seem to deform the front faces. Those seem to stay pretty much uniform on the front side. While I've used other extensions and they make these a lot thicker on the face and I don't necessarily like that. But then all you have to do is just select these objects and I'm going to go ahead and put them in a group for right now. And you just make a copy using the move tool over here. And then I'm just going to tap the Q key again and we're going to rotate this so that it aligns with this edge and we're going to move it out two inches. So now 
what you have is you have this curved face that bends along a 90 degree angle. So you can use this to create a sliced object like this. So this is a fairly easy way to do this. I have found the easiest way to do something like this is to model your slices straight and then bend them as opposed to using something like solid tools after you create a curved face in order to remove this. So it just seems to work a little bit better if you go ahead and you bend this if you model it straight and then bend it. But again, I'd love to hear your opinion about this method in the comments down below. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like this kind of tutorial? Did you find this helpful? Or do you have another way to do this? I know there's a lot of creative people out there that have created a lot of cool things. I'd love to hear how you've created things like this in the past. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider subscribing supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.